Hi, it's Quantum Computer News Time. The Microsoft CEO just dropped uh, this, a couple of reflections on the quantum computing breakthrough we just announced. Most of us grew up learning there are three types, of, uh, main types of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Today, that changed. So after 20 year pursuit, awesome, <laughs> working on a long time, we've created an entirely new state of matter, unlocked by a new class of materials, topo conductors, <laughs> that enable a trademark, um, patent pending, that enable a fundamental leap in computing. It powers uh, the Majorana 1, I believe that's how it's pronounced, uh, the first quantum processing unit built on a topological core. We believe this breakthrough will allow us to create a truly meaningful quantum computer, not in decades as some have predicted, but in years. Now, of course, that's the problem with uh, quantum computers. And um, uh, I'll link in my quantum computer uh, videos down here with Professor Andrea Morello from the University of New South Wales, who's one of the world's leading quantum computer researchers. And um, I've got some great videos down there, so uh, check those out. But basically, he argues that there's no real, at the moment, there's no real practical you know, real world use for con quantum computers. They're more like, you know, obscure research uh, type stuff and things like that. Sure, in the future, um, that's almost certainly going to change. But at the moment, um, they're, you know, just um, toys for quantum computer people to play around with. The qubits created with topo conductors are faster, more reliable, and smaller. They are one one hundredth of a millimeter, meaning we are now uh, have a clear path to a million qubit processor. And if you hear the rumors about uh, quantum computers, they say, "Oh, with a few hundred qubits, we can, uh, you know, uh, break the Bitcoin um, algorithm, and you know, it's, it's all gone ski and everything else." So imagine what you could do with a million qubits. Do we have to worry about that at the moment? Well, anyway, they've got some funky photos, and I've got more than this. We're go into the high-res photos of this thing but the first thing with that struck me with Im this image was all the bypass capacitors and I couldn't help but thinking did the did the designers of this quantum you know, computer just add all the bypass capacitors just to be sure I don't know madman months anyone so from looking at this photo you might think oh look it's just a little module thing and it's like smaller than the size of your hand you know it's it's not very big and they think oh look you can just there it is there's your ready to go quantum computer um yeah nah. so here it is here and you can see that all these uh bolt holes down the side here they're there for a reason because it looks like this top cover here has to go on this and then it's got to go on the end of an arm into a cryogenic Cool, cool intake, just like a regular uh, quantum computer. So don't get too excited. So the big question is, how many qubits does this uh, new revolutionary new processor have? Well, eight. So it's, you know, which is okay, cool. Like, you know, this is a fantastic, don't want to take it away from the researchers here. Absolutely fantastic technology. They've got this new whiz-bang topo conductor material and a new state of matter and fantastic. Um, but yeah, it's eight qubits. So yeah, count them. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why have they got those two extra lines in there? Not sure, that's all quantum-y stuff. Maybe uh, on Professor Andrea Morello um, explain. I think we, I do remember he did explain something about that when we were looking at the uh, qubits in his uh, lab there. But anyway, um, yeah, it's an eight qubit thing. And uh, um, this is what you have to do to, so we're zooming out, zooming out on the qubits and we'll, we'll see this in a minute. This is the little uh, qubity chip and cool cool bananas huh and then there's the um uh, like the regular uh processor outside here and then it zooms out even further and further and further it's on the end of this which gets dunked in the cryogenic uh tank and it's all the regular cool funky looking uh cubity stuff you put it on and you um, super cool it down to you know five degrees above kelvin or whatever it is and uh bob's your uncle so yeah um don't get too excited but you know, cool. So the cool thing is we've got some high-res photos of this and I'll provide the link uh, to the reference uh, photos down below. It's in their uh, news source thing. So you can see, you know, it's it's not that big, sort of, you know, palm of your hand kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, and you can see that here is, this is the uh, eight qubit uh, quantum computer thing. And of course, but on its own, the quantum computer doesn't actually do anything. You need a regular uh, computer uh, basically tacked onto it to actually interface with the quantum computer. That's, I think that's absolutely essential in all aspects of quantum computers, but I could be wrong. Leave it in the comments uh, down below. So I got our eight little Microsoft Minecraft qubits in there, and this is all bonded out. It's very cool. Um, why so many connections? 
I don't know. Um, perhaps Andrea can uh, leave it in the comments uh, down below. But anyway, there's a very cool uh, bonded main processor over here. I, like, I don't know what's going on. Maybe that's just, it doesn't look like a regular die. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Sorry, I'm not a quantum computer expert. I'm not a, um, a die expert or anything like that. So yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Is that just like... It looks like it's just maybe just, you know, shifting out data or something like that. Maybe the processing's done elsewhere, perhaps. That could just be like, a, uh, you know, regular silicon interface for it. Don't know. But uh, yeah, interesting, huh? Now, all the nice little bond wires. And are these resistors or caps? They look like caps, but uh, yeah, like they're all going down to a common rail down here. There's another rail down there. Or are they um, uh, termination resistors they look like more caps and uh, resistors to me so i'm not sure why you need a cap on each pin like that i don't know if you if you know the ins and outs of this um please leave it in the comments down below so um yeah <laughs> they've really gone to town there so that doesn't seem like uh you know bypassing i guess so really i'm not sure what the architecture is and what's going on there but it's way better than this uh 3d render which we uh got here so <laughs> yeah this is it's it's really quite different but there you go. Made in the United States of America. So the other caps, they're all up here like this, going to these individual pins. So these look like possibly are uh, just bypass caps. So they've got a surface mount connector on the bottom there, which goes off um, to, I don't know, is there another board under this? Or that's how they, I don't know, they get the signals out somehow. But uh, yeah, that almost looks like, you know, that's an entire power rail across there perhaps and these are just uh bypass caps and then are they some resistors there perhaps for the signals and they look like possibly protection perhaps so they've got some protection devices on each line maybe that'd be my guess same thing down here so yeah i'm not sure where that uh board to board interconnect is uh going off to is going off to a wiring harness which then goes up the clacker so they've got some alignment pins here. So there could be like another board on the bottom of that. I'd like to see the uh, the bottom side of that thing and see how they're actually getting um, all those signals out. So this is part of the Azure uh, quantum computer that they uh, call it. So it's the new, you know, processing qubit um, thing that they've got in here. And yeah, cool bananas, good on them. Um, but yeah, don't get too excited. It's going to break crypto and it's going to break all encryption and it's only eight qubits. And well, it's there's still a practical application for it. I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, I think quantum computers are still mostly used by researchers to research what quantum computers can do. And this is, I'm sure it's a big um, step forward and they should be very proud of it. But yeah, I'd love to see where like those signals are getting out of. So I'm more uh, curious in the electronics aspect of this thing than the uh, quantum thing, really. So if you've got any insight into this, please leave it in the uh, comments down below. But yeah, the bypass capacitors. Um, do we need to get old man months in here um, and <laughs> start removing the capacitors? If you haven't seen it, I've done a video where I physically remove capacitors until a circuit stopped working. And that's called months in uh, the uh, actual technique to do that. So yeah, I wonder if the uh, designers um, just went, ah, we'll just whack in all these bypass caps. She'll be right. No worries. <laughs> so uh, bypass caps needed for the quantum actually looks like you may not need bypass caps on your quantum computer down here but i don't know so it's all coming out here so where do like all these bond wires look at them look at them tons of them is this for a bit i don't know why they need so many and where do they go off to because it looks like you know they've only got like a dozen traces here going over so what's the what's the deal i don't know <laughs> maybe there's uh, some research detail out there because they've published papers on all this uh, sort of stuff and if you want an update on what professor andrea morello's uh, been up to well huh, he linked me in this a couple of weeks ago uh, this metaphorical cat is both alive and dead they have literally created schrodinger's cat <laughs> apparently um so his team has created a schrodinger's cat a famous quantum thought experiment inside a silicon chip so anyway i we won't watch the video but i'll link it in uh, down below so check that out so they've created the atomic cat in um an, an atom of uh, antimony and <laughs> You can quant eight different quantum states of the quantum cat. Oh my god, if it was already bad enough, now we've got eight of them. So anyway, there's Andrea and his team there with their cats, but there's only four of them. Where's, where's the other four? They might be dead. 
Anyway, cool bananas. The Majorana 1 quantum computer with 8 cubits. So you can, I guess, just add to cart, buy it now, and uh, I believe it comes bundled with a quantum version of Microsoft Clippy. Awesome. Catch you next time.